All right, you guys, we are back in No Man's Sky for another weekend event, just like last week. Let's see what the mission is. Spine of History, Unearth Ancient Bones. Okay, well, I mean, it, it's clear from my, what, three or four months off that they really haven't changed a whole lot as far as weekly missions go but we're gonna do it regardless and 90 percent of this episode's gonna get cut out because it's literally just digging for bones so skip this hop in our plane or our spaceship i guess technically and we will go and figure out where this is at all right we are in the system that looks like a desert planet. Is that where it wants us to go? It is. Of course it is. Okay. Well, um, what else we got here? Activated car copper, pyrite, and silver. All right. All right. Well, we're just entering the atmosphere. Target planet is reached. Let's find a decent place for landing and hopefully there's a decent amount of bones near us. Um, we'll park like right here. Not at the very top, but not in the valley. This should be fine. I can actually land. There we go. Extreme wind blasting. Okay. Well, that's, that's fine. Let's see what we got around here. We got some stuff that's fairly close to us. That one's pretty close. I think these other ones are fairly close too. 351, 893, that's not necessarily close to us, but either way, all, all you guys are really going to see besides me ping-ponging off of cacti is, um, yeah, we're going to do this first one together and then I'm probably just going to skip the rest because once you've seen it once, you've seen all you necessarily have to do. So you just come to the spot, you dig down, you get the bones, and that's it. But if I'm not mistaken, there's another one over here. There we go. Nothing fancy. We're getting cold. That's the wrong button. There we go. Alright, and then essentially all you do is you go to the next closest one, which is 498 units away. And do the exact same thing. So I will catch back up with you guys once I get the required 12 that is necessary to complete this mission. Alright. Well, we made it to our last ones. We've got this one, which completes it. And then this one, it's just a little bonus one. So we technically found 13 bones. Uh, let's go ahead and scan and figure out where this guy is. He's over there. So, what, why did that? All right, that was weird. Sure. Call our ship in real quick, and then we'll just fly over there to Polo's contact. Right now we're in a firestorm. Because it went from extreme cold nights to a firestorm at night. So yeah, yeah, I could see how that would be a little bit of an issue. I think we're somewhat there. Sorry if you guys hear some weird noises in the background. Puppies over here munching. Well, can I? There we go. And the storm's clearing. Um, okay, there we go. Alright, we're just gonna show them the samples. And that's that. We are done. Search the damaged machinery since we're already here. May as well take it. Why not? 
And then we head back to the Anomaly and the Nexus, and we will check on the community progress while we are there. All right, let's turn in this mission. We'll check on the community progress, which if I remember right, I think we were at like 80 something percent last week for tier two. So we should be well into tier three, if not already have tier three completed by now. Has been a week, so I guess we will see. Um, for the exit settings, we always stay in the mission system. And we'll complete the mission. So let's go see where we're at community progress wise. And we are into a whole new system where there are four tiers now. So clearly this was the, oh, too far. This was the tier three reward for the last community research progress. So we obviously got that, but now we are at 25% in tier one. Now, I don't know how long these last. I don't know if it goes all the way up till we hit tier four and then call it a day, but all I'm really seeing is one, two, and three. May as well claim that. I'm not seeing tier four in here. So there's a strong possibility that tier four might be something pretty decent. I mean, these are all ice statues, which I think is kind of a cool, nice change. No pun intended. But I see unlocks for tier one, two, and three, but not tier four. I haven't done any research on it, but I would assume tier four might be be something a little bit better like maybe a cosmetic be kind of cool like different armor piece or something along those lines but all i'm seeing is one two and three i mean if i scroll down find a bunch of stuff i just haven't bought yet and that's about it i don't see anything for tier four so i guess it's kind of a mystery Unless there's a Reddit somewhere that might have what unlocks it tier four. I mean, decals are cool and all, but the only decals I ever really use are from the expeditions. And if we're being honest here, I don't really use all of them. The ice statues are really cool. I think that's a really cool change. I would prefer stuff like jetpacks but at the same time I understand they they kind of hold those and really any cosmetics for like personal cosmetics for expedition rewards which I completely understand but like I'm never gonna use probably any of these three decals if I use any of them it'll be this one and chances are if I feel like I'm in the mood to throw up a decal, it's not going to be this one. I, I'm just saying. But the ice statues, the ice statues are really cool, especially if you build a base on an ice planet or a really cold planet or even a really hot planet just for the meme. Like, that's still pretty cool. So we'll see what the tier four one is. If you guys know what it is, let me know down in the comments. I'm not going to do any research on it because if we get there, we get there and we unlock it or who knows, maybe this is April. This was their April Fool's joke. There is no tier four decal, even though you can get tier four progress. This, I think this is the first time I've ever seen a tier four community research progress. So... I don't know what's going on with that, but they're only showing one, two, and three. So we'll, we'll take what we can get. And if there is a really cool fourth one, we'll take that as well. I mean, free stuff is free stuff just for playing the game. I still think it's a good idea. 
But I'm going to leave this episode off here. So if you guys liked it, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe if you guys haven't yet. And I will catch you guys in the next episode.